Hey, what's going on guys? Arax here. I'm the Master of the World Iceborne Beta returning next weekend. I thought it'd be handy to continue putting together the remaining weapon guides, going over the new moves for each weapon, how to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. We've almost covered all the weapons so far, so uh, if you've missed any of those, you can check them out on the channel, and if there are any that I have yet to do, they'll be coming very soon. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then like will be super appreciated, and let me know what you'd like to see next. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the other member of the Iron Guard, this time with uh, a little bit more explosive. I'm of course talking about the gun lance. Now the gun lance in Iceborne, short of the clutch door editions, has only really had one notable change. However, this new edition is actually pretty awesome, especially when you use it to its fullest potential. I am of course talking about the new Wormstake Blast. When you have Slinger ammo equipped, specifically Field Slinger ammo, this doesn't work if you have things like knives or flash bombs, but if you pick things up from the field and you hold down L2 and you then press Triangle and Circle together, you can load the Wormstake Blast. Now at the top of the screen in the UI, you normally have the Wormstake, which is the blue spear looking icon. However, when you load the Wormstake Blast, when you load the Slinger ammo, turns into this orange looking stake. It's also worth noting that the process of doing this consumes all the slinger ammo you currently have equipped in order to provide you with this new powerful addition. You can also load it in a few different ways. You can also load it mid attack. So following a simple stab attack, you can then press L2 and circle to transition into the worm stake blast load. Similarly, following a shelling attack, you can also press L2 and circle to also load it as well. Now with this in place, any attack that would normally lead to a Wormstake Cannon will instead impale the Wormstake Blast. This will then remain in place for quite some time, it's this mechanical steampunk looking thing, it stays in the monster and it basically creates an explosive target that you can trigger multiple times. Now normal attacks won't do anything to this, but if you then attack the Wormstake Blast with shelling attacks, it will cause additional explosions, essentially adding more damage to your shells. And also keep in mind that since shelling damage ignores armor, it's great for, you know, attacking basically any part of a monster. Now it is of course worth mentioning that depending on the shot type that you use, it will deal more damage. So regular shells will deal base damage. If you then charge a shell attack, it'll do more. If you pull off the burst fire and unload all of your shells, it does even more. And if you do Wyvern's fire, it kicks off a pretty hefty explosion. Now the really cool thing about this is since it does add additional blast to it, it basically just increases the base damage of your shelling attacks because if you have something that is ordinarily not that powerful but you then factor in a secondary explosion, this basically now allows you to become a pyrotechnics expert. It's uh, a lot of fun to use. I will admit, if you're using this in team hunts, it can be a little bit tricky because if you impale the worm state blast in like a monster and it then runs away to fight someone else, trying to chase that down and attack it reliably can be a little bit tricky, but when you're soloing and you can focus on a particular point and you can really drill down in that location, I'm a normal gun lance user, I love the uh, full burst playstyle, so being able to put this in place and then literally cycle through the full burst combo, that is incredibly satisfying. It's also worth noting that if you impale a second Wormstake Blast, it will of course replace the first one, so you can't just litter these all over the monster. I haven't yet had a chance to test this out in team play, so I'm unsure yet whether you can have multiple from different players on the same monster, that would be pretty insane, but either way, that is the fundamental new addition for Gun Lance. Of course, outside of that, you do have the weapon specific slinger move. So simply by holding down L2 and circle, you can grapple onto the monster and you can then press triangle to perform the weapon specific move. And of course, the Gun Lance is considered a lighter weapon for good reason in this situation because it drops slinger ammo. And as such, you can then use that and feed that back into your Gun Lance. So it does make perfect sense that you would, you know, farm slinger ammo from this because it basically allows you to keep that worm state blast going all the time. But that's basically it for the gun lance. There weren't any other really notable new additions. So for the time being, that should get you started next weekend. Let me know what you guys think of it, if you guys enjoyed this. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked. I will be doing a full set of in-depth weapon tutorials come Iceborne's launch. But for the time being, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.